right, hello everyone, and peace of the Lord to all of you. Today we are going to continue with Muslims trying to defend their prophet. And we will read together some comments, and for sure if there is any Muslim who would like to call us, feel free. In the front of us, we have a comment, I guess uh, she is a Turkish maybe, from the name. Her name is Deria Osman. I know that there are many people out there who call themselves Muslims and are in inciting or uh, mispresenting other religions or hurting others. They do the opposite of what Islam teaches us. By the way, I hate scholars you show in your videos too. They provide false pictures of Islam. Beside, Haji Mastan is right. Your followers insult Islam in disgusting. You know, okay, my followers insult Islam. What's wrong with insulting Islam? Islam insulting us. You see, this lady, she said that scholars, sheikhs, they are mispresenting Islam. I never saw a, I never show a scholar. I show what your prophet said. I saw, I show what your Quran said. Your is disgusting to insult Islam. So why is disgusting to insult the Christians and Christianity in Islam? Why is not disgusting? Why it's okay for you to pray to Allah five times a day? The first thing you do in the morning before you wash your face is to insult the Christians and the Jews. The Muslim they recite the chapter of Al Fatiha five times a day. So not only you see you you don't insult the Christianity, you insult the Christians. You just say that they are insulting Islam. Islam is an idea, I believe. So what? I can insult any idea. Why it's okay for you to call us Najis? Do you know what Najis mean? I did not see any Christians saying that the Muslims are Najis. Najis mean dirty. So you claim that I am showing videos of scholars. In fact, I don't. I don't because they will, they will flag me right away for copyright. Let us see what your Quran said about the Kuffar. The Kuffar are filthy, dirty, and they are uh, unclean, and they are forbidden from entering the Holy Land. Let us see. <clears throat> this is your Quran, and this is not the scholars. All who you believe, truly, the pagans, by the way, it doesn't say pagans, it says kuffar. Kuffar have nothing to do with the word pagans. Kuffar is anyone refuse something. Muslims can be kuffar. So, stupid translation. Oh, who you believe, the kuffar, in this case, he is talking about those who refuse Islam. They are najis, not any clean. There's a huge difference between any clean and najis. Najis mean filthy, dirty, nothing can clean them. So let them not, after this year, to approach the second mosque. So you Muslims, you claim that uh, there is a, the, the South African regime was racist against the black. And this is true. They, were, they are racist. But you are more racist than them. Anyone is not a Muslim. He is not allowed to enter not only the second mosque, even the city of Mecca and the city of al Medina. And let me show you some pictures. This is a practice today by the government of Saudi Arabia and all of you Muslims, you support that. And actually, if the Saudi government allow non-Muslims to go to the Medina and Mecca, you will kill the king. Just to show you the hypocrisy of those who they claim that Islam has nothing to do with this. In the year 2019, we have signs in the streets in Saudi Arabia, in the highway, where it says Muslims only, non-Muslims only. And the sign for the Muslim is a green, and the sign for non-Muslims is red, which means we will cut your head if you go and take the wrong exit. So who is the racist? 
why why they cannot take this road because they are najis the quran says that that they are any clean so this is a clean land they cannot enter it so look at the hypocrisy of those who claim that we are insulting islam islam is insulting all mankind because according to the quran anyone is not a muslim he cannot walk there for he is a filthy, dirty he, a creature. Actually, the Quran called him a creature, not even a human being. So do you see the hypocrisy? The Quran, Islam, the, 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 some Muslims, they misrepresent the Islam. No, they are not. They are not. Actually, Muslims are 1,000 times better than Islam. Because 99% of the Muslims, they are not practicing Islam. Otherwise, if they practice Islam, this is what will happen. Let me show you what your prophet said if we practice Islam. If we practice Islam, we have to follow the order of the prophet. And what the prophet order for the Muslims if they see a Christian or a Jew in the street? They have to insult him and they have to force him to walk in the sewage. This is the ethic of the Prophet of Allah. I walk in the street, a Muslim, he come from the other direction. The ethic of Islam is to insult me because for no reason, just because I'm a Christian, maybe the guy, he never met me before. Huh? So just because I'm a Christian, he have to insult me, he have to humiliate me, and then he have to force me to walk in the sewage. In the translation says, force them to the narrowest part of the road. What is that? What narrowest part? Of the this is the sewage. In the old days, the sewage was open. There is a there is a narrow spot in the road, in the side of the road where dirty water go. So you cannot walk in the same road with the Muslim because this is not allowed. You are filthy, you are nudges, you are dirty. You go in the sewage, we walk in the street. And yet you are saying to us, there is some people, they are mispresenting Islam. Who are they? Muhammad himself mispresenting Islam. You know, what is missing to say that Muhammad himself was not a Muslim. Based on your statement in, in YouTube, Muhammad himself was a bad Muslim. Right? So for uh, Islam insult me, I have the right to answer back. Islam call us pigs, monkeys, dirty, nudges, animals, kuffar. And not only calling names, I wish they stopped there. He ignited violence and he asked the Muslims to kill the Christians and the Jews, wherever they find them. Not only the Christian and the Jews, actually, you know, this is for whoever who don't believe in Islam. To the point, Muhammad, he made it clear that the earth have two land, the land of kuffar and the land of Muslims. And the land of the kuffar is the land of war, which means Muslims have to be in war with them. The Quran says in chapter 5, verse number 51, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. No, why? Because they are the enemy. So what do you mean some people misrepresent Islam? Is that Muhammad misrepresenting Islam? Is this Quran misrepresenting Islam? You see how they how they fabricate and how they lie and how they say stupid things I mean it's really disgusting that we cannot find a Muslim he is a proud about his Islam no more so what they do they fabricate lies in order to fabricate a new Islam or a new image of Islam and present it to us and I find that disgusting because the, the reason for the, the, for them doing that is deception. They knew that this is the Quran teach that. Don't tell me that this Muslim actually do not know that the Quran says take not Jews and the Christians as a friends. And not only that, if you take them as a friends, you are one of them. The second you take a Christian or a Jew as a friend, the Quran says it clearly. The one who does that, he is a Christian. He is an apostate. And what is the punishment for apostate in Islam? Death. Read carefully. This is not my translation. Oh, who you believe. Take not the Jews and the Christians for your friends. A smart Muslim, he will say to you, oh, uh, because they are uh, fighting us. I'm stupid, you're stupid. Don't be stupid. 
If somebody want to take you as a friend, how he's fighting you? I mean, who is the stupid here? When it says take not, don't take them as a friend. Obviously, they are not in war with you. Otherwise, they would not themselves ask you to be a friend. <laughs> Friends and protectors, how they are in war with you and they want to be your protectors. See, they, see how they lie? They try to fabricate the meaning. It says here that those are Christians, those Jews, they want to be friend to you and even they want to protect you. And the protector is more than a friend because not every friend will stand to defend you. Not everyone you know, he will be willing to sacrifice his life to protect you. To find somebody want to stand and defend you, even with his life, that will be very special. So Muhammad is warning the Muslims, never take the Christians, never take the Jews as a friends or protectors. Why? Because they are bad people. They are unjust people. They are misdeeded. They are, they are, they are uh, 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 evil doers. And he said, they are just a friends and protector for each other, which means they are not allowed to take them. And he among you, who turn to them for friendship for what just a friendship is of them are you going to say to me that Muhammad is a liar and he don't present Islam who is the Muslim gonna tell me that Muhammad do not present Islam anyone Now, we have another comment from the from the Abdul who was here yesterday. His name is Fadi. Let us go to his comment so we can laugh together. This is the guy. His name is Fadi. He was in our chat yesterday. And I think he is here now. Look what uh, Mr. Fadi he said. Since the death of Muhammad, peace and the blessing be upon him, Muslims live under the caliphate peacefully. I mean, Fadi, you are, you are, a, you are a miserable liar. Isn't it the caliphate, all of them was killed by Muslims? Isn't it the caliphate Uthman, the Muslim, they took the hair of his beard one by one just to torture him? Isn't it the Muslims, they cut his neck and they play with his head, the poly ball? Isn't it the Muslims who refuse even to bury him between the Muslims? What about the rest of the caliphate? What about the grandsons of Muhammad who killed them? So the Muslims live peacefully under the caliphate. That is a big poo poo, Mr. Fadi. Isn't it Aisha? She took an army of 80,000 men to fight Ali and to kill him. And she caused the death of more than 10,000 men. Brothers and sisters, Fadi speaking the truth. Muslims live peacefully after the Prophet and the Caliphate. <laughs> and then he claimed, and even Christians from the dark Europe immigrated to Muslim land. First of all, you don't have a land. It's called the Muslim land. This is the land you occupied from us. Shame on you. Secondly, what a big fat lie. Christians, they immigrated by millions from the Middle East. Don't you see that the president of Brazil, he was a Lebanese just last year? The president of uh, Argentina, he was, a, he was a Syrian? Don't you notice that South America, uh, South America is full of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Arab Christians? Don't you know that more than 30 million Lebanese live abroad while Lebanon have only 4 million? What this guy is talking about and you immigrate the Christian they immigrate to your land let us see what your prophet he said about that Abdul here we get the Abdul busted with their lies you kick them out from their lands let us see Is that your prophet talking or this is uh, Monica Lewinsky in Billy Clinton office taking off her panty? Hmm? 
Where are you, Fadi? Is that your prophet saying? If I became victorious, I will expel certainly the Jews and the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula. And you liar saying that Christians, they immigrated to Muslim land. Al Jazeera TV, they made a program about what the American did, the white man did to the Indian in America. You did more than what they did. In Saudi Arabia, in the Arabian Peninsula, there is zero Jews and zero Christians, which means not a single person in those countries he have a citizenship as a Christian. Why? Because you killed them all. What happened to the Jews who live in Medina? The whole city of Medina were Jews. Muhammad killed them all. What happened to the Christian who lived there? You Muslim, you claim that Muhammad's wife, first wife, was a Christian. Okay, what happened to the Christian there? Everybody like Islam and everybody convert or everybody was killed? Liars. No, my screen is fine, my friend. Refresh your page. So do you see, do you see how they lie to you? Do you see how they fabricate words? They claim that the prophet was a man of ethic. Yes, the prophet was, a, he is full of ethic. To the point he took off the panty of a woman in the front in the house of his wife in her bed. And the wife, she came and she found him doing boom, boom, boom. And he did not even move. You see how much ethic he have? The prophet, he was torturing people to tell them, to tell him where they hide their money. A lot of ethic. Is it what we see in the movie of the Mafia? Where is your money? Hmm? Who is a Muslim would like to give me a call and get me busted? Is that fair, guys? Who is a brave Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge to call me right now and get me busted. Anyone? Anyone? Muslims are allowed to stay in a Christian land, like Muslim land. First of all, this is not your land, you liar. Which one is your land? Iraq is occupation. This is the land of the Babylon. Syria is the land of the Syrian, and their language is Aramaic, not Arabic. Which land is yours? Egypt? This is the land of the Coptic. Which one? Morocco? This is the land of the Amaziel. You occupy Africa, you occupy Egypt, you occupy Morocco, you occupy Algeria, and then you say this is our land? Who make it your land? Which one is your land? Where? Even Mecca is not your land. Since when a religion have a land? How a religion can claim a land? Unless this religion is a gang. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? Who is a brave Abdul have the courage and the knowledge? Where is the Muslim scholars? Why all of them they turn to be potatoes? Who is a Muslim? He have the courage to call me. Anyone? Obviously, Muhammad, 
he is a person who, you know, he mispresents Islam. Obviously, Muhammad isn't a Muslim. Look at this guy. Islam is a nice religion. Islam is about peace. Look what Muhammad is saying. Obviously, Muhammad was not a Muslim. Mostly, he was, uh, you know, uh, you know, shish kebab religion. I wonder what the religion of Muhammad was. Because obviously he don't present Islam. Look what he's saying. I'm going to expel the Jews and the Christian from the Arabian Peninsula. Why? I think Muhammad was worshipping the devil. Not like Muslims. Muslims, they follow the true Islam. Muhammad was a bad, not a Muslim for sure. Look what Muhammad, he said, how evil he is. Islam is not evil. Muhammad is evil. Let us prove that. This is what they are trying to say to us. I, they think we are a bunch of fools. Hmm. The same they made the article saying ISIS is not Islam. Is that your prophet saying? I'm going to kill every human being who don't believe in Allah and me? Or I'm lying? Hmm? I've been commanded not to fight only. Uqatil, which means fight to kill. I've been ordered by who? By Allah, supposedly. Hmm? To fight what? All mankind and kill them. Unless they say there is no God but Allah and there is no prophet but me. And they do slaughter as we slaughter and they eat as we eat and they pray as we pray. And they pay as uh, they, they pay the zakat. And then and only then I will not shed their blood am i lying muslims look the reference look how many hmm? look like muhammad was not a muslim muhammad was an evil person islam is a good religion brother muhammad only was the bad person in islam the rest are good huh Uh, Fadi, look, guys, Fadi is saying to me this, just to show you the ignorance of the, and the stupidity of those who try to answer me. I think Allah, you see, this, this is additional proof that Allah is not a true God, because why Allah is sending me a bunch of fools to defend Islam? Fadi is saying to me, why you don't mention the Old Testament speaking about fighting the giant by the Israeli? This is a clear proof that you are a giant fool. How we can prove that, Fadi? Read carefully with me and laugh at your stupidity. Is that your Quran? As long you are against that, why your Quran saying that Allah he ordered the Jews to go and kill the giants you are talking about? What do you do now, uh, Mr. Fadi? Are you going to, to jump from the window? The story you just told me, it's in your, in your Quran. So I want to now to say I am out of Islam because this is disgusting. Are you there? Any other giant fool in the bushes? Somebody saying, uh, CP, your videos are long and you are repeating same parts. You don't, who is forcing you to come and watch? It's so long, repeating same parts. Go on, don't come. Go watch cartoon. I'm not here, uh, you know, Oprah show for you. This is not a program called Ask for the Song You Like. It's like you are talking as if this is the only program you can come to and that's it you are complaining now customer service are you paying me to sing the song for you don't come who is a Muslim would like to call me I 
Can you, what do you want me to do? Rep create a new Quran for you? Well, what do you do? Like, what I should do? I like, I forget about this verse and mention to you different verse. Every verse, we mention it for a reason. Do we have any Abdul? Like maybe somebody told you that this is American Idols program. So every every time we go live on air, we will have different uh, singers for you. I have two singers here: Christian Prince and Zach and Nick. Which one you want, brother sister? There are some people they complain, and doesn't matter what you do to them, they are always upset. As an example, the Prophet of Allah he brought to them the Quran, and it's a amazing book, and it's still they are certified. And how do we know? Prophet David, he have the both most beautiful voice. And when he sing, even the water stop in the spring. And instead, there's people, they don't accept it and do not like that. So what we would do to you? Let me clean the screen. It's full of spitting. Any... Uh... Muhammadan no, I cannot even follow with this text do we have any Muslim want to say something you see you know Fadi when you go when you go and you see about the 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 old testament speaking about killing those jews are living thousand of years ago and everybody is killing them so why they cannot do what people they are doing for them why they can take their women as slaves and they can rape them and the jews they cannot defend themselves the jews as a nation were enslaved all the nation not a hundred not two not a three Imagine the whole nation being taken from their land like goats, once to Egypt and once to Iraq, to the Babylon. So you are trying to imagine that those people were living a nice life and the neighbor were very friendly, so why they are going in war with them? You are being a hypocrite man. You Muslims, you practice this aggression against your neighbors every day. How many terrorist attacks happened last week since Ramadan started? Seven bombs, suicide bombing in Afghanistan. Two in Pakistan. One of them in a Sufi mosque. Imagine, even mosque, they want to kill Muslims. Why? Because they are Sufi. Sufi, they are kuffar. We don't like them. That's it. They want to kill them. They want to kill Shia. Shia want to call Sunni. Sunni, they want to kill the Shia. They want to call the Su Sufi. They want to kill the Druze. They want to kill the Alawi. I mean, this is a messed up cult. But they are not different from their prophet. Their prophet, he ordered them to kill any sect which is not his sect. Look what Muhammad, he said in the Hadith. The funny the Muslim they say, well, Rabbaka Amar al Israeliyan about the man at a sana and you caught it on Amalia, or you call Jimmy and Isa home what follow home. Fadi, Fadi, what about we do this? Why you don't call me and I will make you read the verses for me from the Bible and I will make, I will guarantee you, I will make everybody here die laughing at you. Do you accept the challenge, Fadi? Guys, is that a good challenge? I challenge you, if you are a man who have mustache in your face, not down your, your belly, to call me right now, you read for me the verses from the Bible, and I will make everybody die laughing at you now, not tomorrow. Do you dare? Uh. Fadi, he don't have mustache in his face. He have it only around his private part. And he think that will make him a man. Okay, call me in Pal Talk. Here we go. Let me open my Pal Talk. He said, I accept. Let us see if this is true. 
Last time he said he wanna call me, it did not, he never called. Okay. Here we go, my Skype is open. Uh, sorry, my pal talk is open. <coughs> I'm waiting for you. <coughs> Log in. <clears throat> I'm waiting, my friend. Come on. Guys, do you think he will come to he will come online or he's just a potato? Who wanna bet that he is a potato? Hmm? Who wanna bet? I I believe he is a potato. It take uh, less than 30 seconds, less than 10 seconds to log in in Paltok. Why you are not texting me? And I added you too. You are already in my list. Are you there? Friendship fries? Shall we ch change your name from Fadi to Friendship fries? Are you crunchy? Hello? Well, look like Fadi is a crunchy French fries and he will not dare to call us. He said he cannot use Paltalk. No, yesterday he gave me his ID in Paltalk. He's a liar. And I added him. And his name here, here we go. Let me show you his name. He gave me his name and I added him. Fadi, look, here we go. Let, let us show you that this guy is nothing but a liar. He gave me this name yesterday, Fadi9966. And I texted him yesterday and he never answered. Do you see it? Do you see it? He's a potato coward. Anyway, we gave him more than he deserved. Let us log off Paltalk so we don't have weak internet. Oh, you don't see the internet? Sorry, you don't see my uh, screen? Sorry for that. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me show you in the screen. Uh, yesterday I called him and I texted him. See? This is yesterday, and this is his name, the one who he gave me, Fadi. Fadi, you see his name? Again, the screen is not there. Hold on, hold on. Okay, now you see him, right? Do you see him? I texted him yesterday. He never answered, and this is his name. Fadi966. Potato. He cannot log in Paltalk, and yesterday he is the one who told me, you know, this is my name in Paltalk. Yeah, all right. What about the rest of the Muslims? Okay, this guy, he cannot log in Paltalk. What about the rest of them? They cannot log in Paltalk too? Look at this. 
Allah cannot log in Paltok. Muhammad cannot log in Paltok. Angel Jibreel, he is not there. The second I hang up, then you will see how big their mouth in the in the in the in the in the comment. I go to sleep, the mice come. We are here, nobody wanna to talk to us. Any Abdul? Call him in Skype? Uh, no, we don't use Skype. He has pal talk anyway. Why he wanna use a Skype? Because Skype have a security issue. Skype have a security issue. This is why we don't use it. Any Abdul? And what make dif what difference going to make for you if it's a Skype or Pal Talk? It's for free. Anyone? Forget about this kid. Who is a Muslim is willing to call us? And you know what? Forget about everything we said. Open it challenge. You know what open challenge mean? Open challenge. Who there? I want you to call me and do what uh, Mimi Hijab he did to David Wood. I want you to say to me, answer me, silence me. Who want to do that? Mimi Hijab, he don't dare to call me. His nurse Ali Dawa don't dare to call me. The guy who have no teeth, what his name? Samsi, Samshi. He don't dare to call me. None of them dare to call me. Answer me. Silence me. I mean, what is that? Show me. Call me, I will show you, I will silence you, and you will get, and not only that, I will spank you. You want to do that? Yeah, Muhammad, he, he lost his teeth from the beginning of his time, don't you know? I don't know how this guy, he was reading the Quran. <laughs> Fadi, you are just a potato. We got you busted, my friend. You got busted. Any Muslim have the courage? Anyway, today, as long as there is no Muslims, let us talk about something more useful. We gave them a chance to call us and look at them. Who is a Muslim? Is willing to give me a challenge proving to me that in any way in any mean Muhammad can be a prophet what make Muhammad a prophet what make Muhammad a prophet what what is that I heard that what make Muhammad a prophet is his ability for sex is that true I heard what make Muhammad a prophet that he have sex with all his wives always without washing. Is that true? Is that what make him a prophet? A man having sex with all his wives and he don't wash? How your prophet he smell? He have 13 wives and now he claim that he have sex with all of them. Actually the hadith says that he do sleep with them all in one hour. In some hadith they say in a night.
אני מוסלם? Here when they say go around, they are talking about bang bang, not going around. That's why they are talking about washing. Do you see it? This is not about going around as they put between two brackets. Anyone? Indicator, I want you to do me a favor, my friend. Please, when you post a comment in the in YouTube, don't use bad language and don't you know like because I notice your comment is very harsh do you hear me indicator don't force me to block your name my friend all right I'm just giving you a warning take it easy relax before you answer somebody breathe one two three four count to ten they no need to say pig and etc Now, who is a Muslim want to tell me? What kind of a prophet this prophet is? Is that what make him a prophet? Hmm? I heard that the prophet Muhammad, he had the power of 40 men. In the boom boom business is that because he's a prophet I'm just trying to understand is it true that your prophet he invoke Allah and Allah he sent him a dish of shish kebab he ate it and he got the power of 40 men after he ate it Neo Mio Nino trying to contact me in, in Pal Talk. Okay, hold on. Let me see this Neo. Is he a Muslim or not? Only Muslims can contact me, please. Don't contact me if you are not a Muslim. Is this guy is a Muslim? Neo Mio. Okay, so why he is not texting me? I receive nothing. He's lying. I have only text from the guy who called me last time and he just said, uh, here we go, let me show you what he said to me. I will get baptized soon, CP. Thank, thank for you, brother. This is the text I got. This is from yesterday, but I saw it today. You remember the guy who called me? He is a son of a sheikh, the Muslim sheikh. He left Islam and he will get baptized soon. No screen? Again? Hold on. I keep forgetting the screen. Okay, here we go. You see the screen now? All right. Well, this is... This is the message I got from the gentleman who left Islam a few days ago, the son of the Muslim Sheikh. And as you see, he's saying, I will get baptized soon, CP, thank you for you, brother. And I said to him today, actually, uh, happy for you. All right. Who is next? Where is the guy who wanna call me? Here we go. My pal talk is open. Screen is a cloudy. Open the window. Maybe there is too much hot steam on your screen. I told you one thousand time. Don't watch my YouTube during the shower time who's a Muslim is going to call me what make Muhammad a prophet I want to know is that because he got the power of 40 men for sex is it true that he invoked Allah and he sent him a dish of shish kebab he ate it he got the power of 40 
Is it true that Allah he have a video channel is called Make Shish Kebab for Sex? Have you ever heard of a God? He fixed the private part of his prophet by sending him a dish of kebab? Since when? You Muslim, you say to us, if Allah wants something, he say B is going to be. Why he don't say to his B, be powerful, and instead of going to the kitchen and making shish kebab dish? Have you ever heard of a God sending a shish kebab dish? Anyone? What about this God? He sent even dish. Not only, not only is a Viagra. He sent that dishes even faith and wisdom. Faith and wisdom they come in dishes in Islam. Yes, my brother. Only in Islam those things happen. <clears throat> Read carefully with me. Two angels, three angels, they come to Muhammad. And they cut his chest from here to there. Which means from his throat down to, to his balls. Alright? And then they took all the material out of his chest. And then they washed the material in the water of Zamzam. Zum, zum, zum. True story. That must be a true story. Prophet of God, you know, they need a special procedure, plastic surgery. You see here, you don't understand. He's, they are preparing him for a bigger mission. He will go to the space. Muhammad now is getting ready to go to the space. And you cannot go to the space with a normal stomach. And they have to clean it out. And there is some, you know, he cannot do that. I mean, this is very, very well known. As an example, brother. I will give you an example. Some Christian, I think that was the Christian, it the Christian prince. And he made the claim that while the prophet, they cut his throat and they cut his belly. And I said, Christian prince, I am sure you are hiding because the computer and that make you have a big belly too. But the difference between the belly of the prophet and the belly of a Christian prince is a youth. The prophet have a beautiful belly and he have a belly bomb, which is so sexy and sexy and I know it. And the angel, they came and they cut his belly because they need to prepare him to go to the space. And it discovered by a scientist from the pan, his name, Yama Aydullah Yama. It's very well known. Uh, what? Why they cut his belly? Any Muslim knows? Brother sister, if you think there is a person, his name is Andant Armstrong, and he went to the moon. Before he go to the moon, they cut his belly. And they took all the, the material from the belly and they prepared it. What? Any Muslim can tell me why the angels, they cut the belly of the Prophet and they wash the material inside? And for the sake of Allah, what is the material inside his belly? Anybody can tell me what is the material? Material inside his belly like what? Battery, tubes, screwdriver. What is inside his belly? And the funny, the Quran confirmed that the Prophet of Allah, Muhammad, is the first Prophet who Allah made the plastic surgery for his breast. Read with me. Am I lying? Why you want to go to Thailand to do plastic surgery for your boobs? Became a prophet, Allah will do it for you. He will send two angels. One of them is his specialty is a breast expanding. Hmm? So this is the reason they cut his chest? And 
So now Muhammad, he has bigger breasts. So now he is qualified to be a prophet? Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Anyway, the story continue, and they wash all the material inside his belly and his chest with Zamzam, and then they took it back. I mean, why I'm wasting my time here? Uh, you know, I can... Uh, hold on, hold on. We have a Muslim here. We have a Muslim. Let's see what this Muslim want to say. <coughs> Finally, there's a Muslim on a call. <coughs> Hello? 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 Yes, my friend, how are you? Thank you, sir. How are you? Thanks. Can you hear me, sir? So you are a Muslim, right? We are live on YouTube. You know that, right? Hello? Are you there? Yes, I know that. Uh, yes, I am a Muslim. Okay. But uh, I am a Muslim from Bosnia. Oh, Bosnia, That's, all right. Uh, yeah, do okay. you know? Yeah. Do you have a problem to be in YouTube? Because now we are in YouTube. Just to let you know. Hmm? We are, we are live in YouTube. Your voice in YouTube right, right now. So... No, I don't have a problem. But, all right. Uh, okay, so what do you want to tell me, Mr. Mr. Uh, Nino? I understand you very good because there is an echo. Uh, mute mute YouTube. Mute, mute YouTube so you hear me only in Pal Talk. Mute YouTube. Okay, now. All right, what do you want to tell me, Mr. Noon? I'm not going to ask you any question. Oh. How you can prove to me that Muhammad is a prophet of Allah? Well, the improvement is the book. Which book? That Muhammad gave us. Which one? The Quran. Muhammad never gave you a Quran. It's the main important book. You don't have a Quran. Uh, Muhammad never gave you a book. Where? When? Who is the one who... Uh, uh, did Muhammad have left a book behind him? No, that's the same like Jesus. Jesus has... Also not written. Okay, so Bible. make it clear. Don't say to me Muhammad book. Now, okay, what what is the book name which Muhammad, according to you, he left behind? Quran. Okay, well, how you can prove to me that the Quran will prove Muhammad to be a prophet? How you can do that? Please again. Okay, you said to me the proof that Muhammad is a prophet is the book. How is that? I have a book too. Does that mean I'm prophet? I have many books. So how you can prove to me that Muhammad is a prophet? Because you said to me the book, okay, how you can do that? Well, we... we my English is not very good, excuse me. Don't worry, my English is not good too. Yeah. You know, I um, go to the store, I say, instead of saying shampoo, I say shampoo. I say well, Pakistan or instead of all, Pakistan. First of all, is, yeah. I think the believement. And then, of course, uh, the improvements are the, the guys around him mm. uh, who, who writes the first documents about mm. this. Mm. And I think also uh, Baraka, the, the cousin of, of, of uh, Hatija, his wife. Okay, okay, as, as long as, as long, that, okay, hold on, no, no, as long you because mentioned, because he was in former times, uh, all right, on Christian religion, all right, and she's, yeah, as long you mention, you mention, uh, uh Waraka, why Muhammad he tried to commit suicide when Waraka he died? I think he for Muhammad Waraka was a, a big, um, how you say. Uh, uh, life leader, you know. He was what? what I want to say. Uh, when Mohammed has questions, I think he always. I lost you, my friend. Do. I don't hear you. Yeah. Move your mic. When Mohammed he have a question, he would do what? 
we don't send to Varaka to ask him. Okay, your voice now is very low. But I think Varaka was for him a father. Hit, hit your, hit your uh, microphone cable. I think you have a problem with your cable. I don't hear you. I don't know what happened to your mic. Are you there? Yeah. I hear nothing, man. What yeah. happened? Can you hear me? Okay, let me call you back. Hold on, hold on. Can you hear me now? Okay, now I hear you. Okay, good. Now I hear you. Okay. Okay. So okay. Why, why, okay. why, why, why Muhammad tried to commit suicide when Waraka he died? What, what is why the connection? Muhammad? Yeah, what, what is the connection between Muhammad and Waraka? Hmm. What is the connection? I mean, so what? The guy, he, uh, he's an old man, and you said he used to help Muhammad. So what? Is that a reason for a man who claimed to be a prophet to commit suicide? No, no, of course not. Not in no, of course in that way of no, no chance. But I think because prophets are also in one way only humans. I think in that time when he died, he has maybe to say it easily ten minutes a bad, bad, uh, a tough time for himself, and then his soul also was stressed. Maybe this is the reason. I don't know exactly. Mm, no, the, the hadith doesn't say that. The hadith says that when the when the waraqa he died, the inspiration of Allah stopped coming. Why? Okay, I don't know that now. Don't don't you don't you think that the inspiration for Muhammad was coming from waraqa? He was the one making Quran for him. Yes. Okay, so you agree yes, that much? waraqa he yes, was making yes. Quran. Okay. That's a good thing. He agreed that Waraka was making the Quran. That means Muhammad is a false prophet. Okay, this uh, this I don't uh, agree because I think the the things first of all Muhammad gets from the angel, and then he goes with this information to to his wife and to Waraka. To talk about that and to to know how to give the followers oh, but the message on. what he has no, no, uh, no, no. reached from I God. Just, I just told you Waraka is making the Quran. You said yes, yes. And as you see, when Waraka he die, no more Quran is coming to Muhammad. Why? No, no, I, Do you I think, don't say that Waraka okay, okay, no is problem. making the Quran. Okay. I say he was his how you say in English counselor? Okay, counselor. So, what, what, if the counselor he die, what this have to do with the Quran not coming to Muhammad? Why the Quran stop coming to Muhammad? Uh, is it so? Yeah. When from that time, Muhammad nothing uh, gets anymore. Okay. Well, yeah. Why? Why there's no Quran? Because this information I hear now the first time from you. Well, always when Muslims they call me. That, no, no. When Muslims they call me, always they say to me, "This is the first time we hear this." But doesn't matter this is the first time or second time it's in the front of you it's in the screen it says that when waraka he died the divine inspiration was also stopped isn't it obvious that muhammad he was receiving fabricated word of god from a man his name is waraka and that is the reason for him to be upset and sad because now where he will get quran from what he will do already he claimed to be a prophet and Waraka was giving him Quran and now he don't have Quran because Waraka he died so he tried to commit suicide he been he get busted why the Quran stopped coming from Allah because of Waraka he died what is the relationship do you think Allah he was learning Quran from Waraka too no do you think Waraka was Allah himself in the earth no so why the inspiration? Not. So why the inspiration stopped coming? Didn't you ask yourself why? To be honestly, I do because uh, I I follow you also, maybe two months. Okay. And I also buy your book, sir. All right. And yes, I'm very very now fighting with my own uh, to to find for me the truth. You know. That's wonderful. Which books you have of, of mine? Which books you bought? Alas, Toysham. 
Oh, uh, the in the German version of it. Okay. Did you yes, buy the sir. second one? Please, sir. There's two two uh, two German books we have. The, the first, sir. All right. All right, my friend. Let me let me in ask, English. let me ask you. Uh, as long as you have my books, and you are following me for more than two months, and now I'm showing you that Waraka he died, the divine inspiration stopped, and Muhammad he tried to commit suicide. I want to ask you. Is it normal for a human being to try to commit suicide? Don't you know? If you go right now, search in YouTube, in, in, in Google, you will find that doctors, they say, that people who try to commit suicide, obviously, either they are suffering from a very, very harsh depression time, or they are suffering okay. from mental illness. Yeah. Okay. So, Muhammad is chosen by God, right? Why Allah, he yes. chose a man, why Allah he chose a man he can not stand you know little exam I mean nothing happened to him just the divine stuff for some time so why he want to kill himself like he did not go to the cross like Jesus he didn't I mean nothing happened yet so why he want to kill himself do you think that Allah he chose the wrong man for the ring the, the for the wrong mission Well, sir, I don't know what to say because everything what you say, uh, show us and what you say, you are right. Okay. And for me, it's, it's how to say every new information, it's like a, when somebody gives me a shock, you know. All right. Well, I respect yeah. your honesty. That's uh, that's not, uh, not uh, you know, usually Muslim, they are not really too much honest. But I want to ask you another question here. If you look with me in this okay. story, it says that the Prophet, he tries several times to commit suicide and each time he tried to do that the angel come to him in front of him and he said to him oh Muhammad you are indeed Allah messenger don't you find this is very funny and I, will, I will explain to you why this is very funny and then you give me your comment and your decision if Muhammad already he knew he's a prophet why he go to commit suicide and then the angel appear in front of him and he says to him indeed you are a prophet and then when he hear that he calm down he go back home a day or two after Muhammad he do the same story he go to the top of the hell, a mountain he want to kill himself then the angel appear in front of him again and he said to him don't do it you are for sure a prophet of Allah few days after Muhammad he do the same thing again and again and again is it this is a clear sign that this man is mentally ill definitely that that two things are happening in his head i right. i only can explain me now that one thing is is is, is calling him come to them come to the hero that's the satan and the good angel says him no don't go away and uh, yeah yeah but what, what about what about he is not uh, he, listening to shaitan and he is not listening to an angel because obviously muhammad is mentally ill if the angel he came to you just yesterday and he told you you are a prophet why you want to do it second day he just told you yesterday you know what i mean yeah i mean are you a kid it's like you're talking to a kid like a kid you tell him don't play with the candies you leave him for five minutes he come back he's playing with the candies but that is a kid all right yeah. but muhammad is a man he is over the age of 40 and already now he received many quran so why he is not he this is the, the, the what the story in front of us mean that he himself he don't believe is a prophet correct yeah he need, yeah because the reason he calmed down the angel he says to him indeed you are a prophet right which means the reason for him try to commit suicide that he don't believe is a prophet so how we can trust a man like this obviously he's, he's a crazy Did you hear about the hadith where it says that the prophet he used to imagine himself doing things in fact he did not including sex? I heard I heard it here in YouTube from you sir. Oh. Uh, I looked at a video from you. Let explained. me show you the hadith. Yeah. The hadith says that the prophet he imagined that he done a thing and this is Sahih Bukhari this is Sahih but in fact he did not do anything 
a country that can make it in English or German? Yeah. Uh, it's in English. Once the Prophet was bewitched, so that he began to imagine that he had done a thing which, in fact, he had not done. <laughs> yeah. So okay, maybe he was drunk and. No, he's not a drunken. Obviously, this guy is mentally ill. <laughs> you know, I mean, you see, including having sex, including mm -hmm. having sex, even Muhammad, he imagined that he had read with me this hadith, another hadith. This is Sahih Bukhari too. Sahih. The Prophet was uh, continue for such and such a period, imagining that he had sexual intercourse with his wife, but in fact, he did not. I mean, even his sex is fake. <laughs> so how we can trust that Muhammad was seeing an angel if this guy he can he imagine things even sex is not true I mean sex is, is uh, when somebody have sex at least you have a witness with you the women you sleep with her correct yeah even this one Muhammad have no witnesses Muhammad went to the moon to, the, to heaven no witnesses uh, uh, Muhammad see Jibreel, there's no witnesses. Muhammad uh, received Quran, there's no witnesses. Muhammad having sex, even this one, there's no witnesses. So what we will do? <laughs> Don't you think that obvious that Muhammad is suffering from mental illness? There is a there is if you if you read if you search a little bit on Google I am not a doctor, but there is, mm -hmm. there, is there is people mm -hmm. who have mm -hmm. two personality. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, of course. Maybe Muhammad is one of them. So he have two. Yeah. He have double person. The other person do something, and when he go back to the first person, he don't remember what the double person did. Right? Yeah, yeah. And the Arab when somebody. He is suffering from mental illness they always say he was bewitched because they can't explain this is their old uh, you know they, they don't know medicine so the only way to explain why somebody suddenly he was fine and then suddenly he acts crazy they say he was bewitched yeah this Arab culture also gets to Europe to to my country also because when you have this problem in Bosnia that the people also say the same. They are not looking for medicine. They are yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I want to show you this story. Can you can you tell me is it true that Muhammad when he get the first message from from Jibril that he asked I uh, that Hatija confirm him that he is a prophet. Yeah, actually, this the hadith we are reading, the hadith we showed you about Waraka. Is the one the same one saying that Khadija she took him to her cousin? But there is something I think you are talking about different story. It's called Khadija Wantihanul Wahi. Khadija she examined the prophethood. I think this is what you are talking about, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't think I can find it for you in uh, uh, in English, but I will show it in Arabic. Yeah, no problem. I trust you. This is the book of Asira. I will put it in the screen. Asira Nabawiya by Ibn Hisham. And this is reported in many stories, not only one. Volume number one. Imtihan Khadija Burhan al You know what? I'm going to uh, open it in Google uh, browser so we can translate in English automatically so people can see with me. Uh, you know, Google translation is not really yeah. accurate, <laughs> but better no than problem. nothing. Yeah, that's it. All right. Guys, this is Google Translation. All right. This is Islam Web. This is not Christian Prince website. Value number one. What What is the title, guys, in English? Khadija Proof of Revelation Exam. This is the Google Translation. The correct translation mm -hmm. is the, the, the examination of the uh, prophethood by Khadija. What Khadija she did to examine the prophethood? Muhammad, he sees someone sitting in the corner, but you do not know who is he. So Khadija said to him, when you see him, tell me. Okay? She said, read with me carefully. 
You can, you can yes. see the screen, uh, Nano? Yes, I, I can see it good, sir. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, look what he said. If he come to you, tell me, Jibreel come to him, and he he was, uh, uh, you know, he was sitting, like the, the translation not right, and the messenger of Allah, peace upon him, told the Khadija that, okay, he is here. So she came, and she said, oh, my cousin, sit on my left thigh. <laughs> and then he sat in her, in her left thigh, and then she said to him, do you see him? He said, yes. <laughs> she said, okay, turn and sit in my other thigh. <laughs> she also sees him. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the, and then she asked him, to make the story short, you can read it. So, and she asked him, do yeah. you see him? He said, yes. And then she took off her clothes and she started stripping and she asked him to sit in the top of her. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then she said to him, huh? You see here, this oh translation is funny. It says he sat on a stone, not a stone. He sat in her lap in the top of her and said to him, uh, uh, after he sat in her lap, she said, do you see him? Uh, uh, he said, yes. And then she took off, start taking off her clothes. Mm -hmm. And then she said to him, you see here, she throw her khimar. The translation is funny. So she start, start taking off her clothes. And then she said to him, do you see him? She, he said, no. She said, the glory to Allah, he is an mm -hmm. angel, not a, the devil. How by striptease? Have you ever heard of a prophet who proven by striptease? No. Angel striptease, no. No, not the angel strip, it's, it's Khadija stripping. Yeah, yeah. And here, here you find the funny story, the part of it, is sitting in my right, right leg and my left leg, and sit in my lap. Yeah. What is that? Is Muhammad a kid? What is this? I'm shocked. Oh. Okay, so I don't want to waste your time. No, 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 really no, no. Wait, don't wait, oh. wait, no, wait, wait. Don't go. Hold on. What do you mean? Don't waste my time. You are not wasting my time. So, aren't you going to leave Islam? Oh, I think so. So, are you going I to? I think so. Okay, are you because going? Because I read also the Bible. I have, I have, I have uh, reading. But everything in secret, you know, because my family, I, I will become a big problem with family when they know that I'm reading the Bible. Right. So, Bible, so, are, you, very good so are you saying to Islam. me, I understand your family issue, but are you saying to me now you decide to leave Islam today? What, what I must do for that, sir? But, well, I don't know. It's your decision. Did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? Well, I have to think about it. Well, uh, what do you mean you have to I'm think about it? Already you told me, you, you know, you think so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. come on, you are brave. I will leave that because I can't, I can't live with, with, right. with the knowledge I now have and with this all information. And that's wonderful. That's a, that's a liar, liar religion. That's not, that's not uh, like Christianity, where, where Jesus says only, I give my life for you that you come up to uh, to to sky only believe in me no in in Islam and so do you do you do you uh, are, uh, are you denouncing the no, devil and, and his that. religion Muhammad and do you accept Jesus as your God do you accept Jesus as your God me do you accept Jesus as your God and your Savior yeah how you say it well for me it's one God and yes I believe that that God sent His Son to the earth. Okay. To that, Jesus give uh, his life for us, and now he's sitting next to so God. You, on the you, right. you I, have, I so, yeah. so you have already some information about Christianity to make you uh, yes. accept Jesus, correct? Why? Why you have? Uh, or how you learned about Christianity? How? Yeah, how you learned about Christianity? Well, I grew up here in Germany, sir. You know. Oh, you grew up in Germany. Okay, all right. Yeah. You have a Christian friend. That's okay. That's wonderful. That's it, sir. Yeah. I, I also I was on in school with Christian people, mm. and the Bosnian Islam is not so radical like the Arabic Islam. Yeah, but the Arab they came to your country and they make it radical. Now it's going crazy there, right? No, not the Arabic. It, it becomes crazy because. For me, uh, I also uh, want to, to 
find some questions for myself about my soul and my life. And I think uh, the problems in Bosnia comes 1,500 when the Turkish people come with the Islam. Mm. <laughs> now, you know, yeah, because of course, this is a devil religion and they do the people in a mind control and they are frightened to look for information, to look, uh, for example, you, to listen about you and to to take information, you know. No, they don't want, they, I don't understand what happened with this world. Well, anyway, my friend, I'm really uh, happy for you that you accepted the Messiah as your Lord. Do you have any friend, anyone from your family want to talk to me so I can talk to them to help you to, uh, to, to decide? Uh, no, they, they said to me, because I've already tried with my sister to talk about this. And she says to me, no, no, you are, you are stupid. You are, the devil is in you. And All right. Well, you can maybe you can share my videos with her, and uh, you know, always uh, good 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 things. Good, good things start with this with the step by step. They don't happen right away. And I'm happy that you yeah. read my books and you are watching my videos for more than two months. You said, sir, you, you are watching my videos since two months ago. You said, yes, right. around two months. And uh, German, uh, I also watch Mr. Amia. Oh, okay. He's all also very good information giving me. Yes, and you two are my uh, main information. <laughs> what or how to say? You know what I mean. That's and wonderful. of course, by myself, I'm reading much. That's yes. That's wonderful, my friend. But I'm happy, uh, I'm happy for you. What, yeah, it's, it will be a, a tough way for me. I, I know that. But how Jesus said, the truth will win, and. All right. Thank you for doing this all, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you, my friend, for calling. Feel free to call anytime you wish. And if you have a Muslim to call me, let him ask, you know, he is more than welcome to call. All right? If all somebody right, if somebody says to you, Christian Prince did lie to you, etc., tell him what about you, call him, and I will listen. Hmm? Well, the problem is when I talk, they, they, they all become aggressive, you know? So that's okay. No, just tell them uh, if they say, you know, like why, why you left Islam, tell them, okay, you know, call the guy and make me go back to Islam, debate him and win the debate and we'll go back to Islam. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, my friend. Thank okay, you for calling. Sir, thank, you thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. All right. And that's beautiful. You know, like the, the gentleman he called us as a Muslim, you know, he hang up as a Christian. What do you want more? He just texted me at 4.16 p.m. saying, Hello, sir. I'm a Muslim. Can we talk? All right. 4.16. Now it's what? 4.49. Wonderful. Any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Who is a Muslim when I get back your brother to go back to Islam? Because if you call me right now, he is still fresh. You might show him that we are wrong. Who want to do that? Who is the Muslim, the hero, who want to jump right now and he want to give me a call to get this ex, fresh ex-Muslim, new Christian, back to Islam? Anyone? Have you ever, guys, heard of somebody, his wife examined that he is a prophet by her legs? I mean, I want to be a prophet immediately. I want to be a prophet. I mean, does it have to be a wife? I mean, shouldn't uh, any woman she can do it? I don't have a wife. This is the problem. I mean, imagine I imagine I saw something, somebody in the corner. Nobody can see him except Muhammad. And then the woman, she said to him, sit in my right leg. And Muhammad, he said, like, as if he's a baby. Do you see him? Uh, yeah, I see him. He's there. Okay, move to the other leg. What is that? 
That's so good to be true. That's so beautiful. <laughs> and the funny, the the name of the title is the Khadija Proof of Revelation Exam. This is the Google translation. <laughs> oh, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a Muslim. I can't. I, I want to be a prophet specifically. Those things happen only to prophets of God. By the legs of the wives, we can prove if you are a prophet or not. You sit in the top of the left leg. If you still see somebody in the corner, then she should ask you to move to the right leg. And if you still see, you sit in the top of her lap. And then after that, she will start taking off her clothes. And the Muslim, they explain this, by the way. They say, oh, the reason she able brother to find that he is a prophet or not, he's a, you know, okay, what, let, let's, let us go, Zach and Meg. Brother Sitter, and they are very thigh, extremely thigh. You know, they are created from thighness. To end, they cannot see a woman taking off her clothes. And look how smart the prophet wife. The prophet sees someone in the corner, and he's the tour. Is he the devil? Is he an angel? How the prophet he can be tour? His wife, Khadija, may Allah bless on him. She come with the idea. As long the angel is so high, then she have to do trapeze, and she start taking off her clothes. And because he's an angel, he will leave. If he was the devil, he will say to watch porn. What the? If this is shaitan, shaitan will stay to enjoy watching sex. <laughs> and this is how the wife of the prophet, she proved that Muhammad is a prophet. It was the legs of the wife. And the funny, this is in their books. This is not in the book of the Jews or the Christians or the Hindus or the This is their books. This is their books. Hey guys, the, the married guys, how many of you today you are going to practice to see if you are a prophet or not? Be honest with me. All the married guys now they will say, Hey, honey, I just learned the trick. <laughs> I see someone in the corner come over here <laughs> and then she will say to you okay you see someone in the corner but you need to tell her to teach her how 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 Khadija she learned things otherwise she will not do that you know oh boy do we have any Muslim <clears throat> Huh? Any Muslim would like to call me? Who is a Muslim? Nobody? Not even one. Well, I think they are doing a, a prophethood examination. And you know, here you need you need you need to give a credit to Khadija. Look how smart she is. How she knew this trick. For for how many husband Khadija she did this trick before? Sit in my right leg, in my left leg, sit in the top of me. Yeah, obviously, Khadija, she want to have sex. She don't care for the angel. Muhammad in the top of her, he got horny, he see nothing now. Any, uh, any Abdul? Okay, guys, don't text me in Paltok unless you are a Muslim. Only Muslim, please. Anyone? 
All right, guys, I think we have enough for today. I'm so happy that uh, we have a uh, we have a gentleman who left Islam. And please don't forget to download the videos as soon as we uh, finish. Uh, I have a video from the morning, a few hours ago. A uh, few of you actually, there's a video I made three days ago, four days ago, only seven or eight thousand. I mean, I don't know why people are not watching. If a woman she is reviewing her lipstick, she will have more review. This is Muhammad. We are reviewing Muhammad. What's wrong with you? Imagine if we can make a video of Khadija and Muhammad life doing this. How many billion they will watch the movie? The examination, the movie. I will make it in 4K. The examination of the prophethood by the legs of Khadija. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. And we will translate the movie to all languages, including Chinese. The title in Chinese will be <laughs> which means Khadija proving the revelation of the prophet by her. <clears throat> That's so beautiful. That's so good. Hmm? All right. Indonesian. I will make a video the, the movie in Indonesian, but I don't speak Indonesian. This is the problem. You know, uh, the only thing I know about Indonesia that there's a lot of Indonesian live in Indonesia. I don't know any any word. Okay. So, I don't know what to say. By the way, why there's a lot of Indonesia in Indonesia? Isn't it weird? I went to China, a lot of Chinese in China. I don't know. Something fishy. Hello? Do we have any uh, Muslim? Yeah, let a lot of a crazy or you know, uh, uh, the only pl in the only place you don't see the people of the place there is Europe. You go to Europe, you don't see European. No European in Europe. It's called Europe, but has zero no European. The intelligence of the European people beyond imagination. They become the minority and soon they will kick them out. Soon the European, they will become refugee. Thanks to uh, the Chancellor of Germany and to uh, Macaroni in uh, France and to Berlusconi in Italy and all the stupidity in Europe. Anyway, I think we are done for today. <coughs> I hope... Uh, uh, you guys, you learn something new. And don't forget, please, if you want to learn more about the cult of Islam, which is very beautiful cult. As you see, it's full of legs and chest and breast and very fun. I mean, so, 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 so beautiful. So beautiful and uh, sexy and uh, you know it. So if you like to read more about Islam, you can get my books from Amazon. It's translated to many languages. And soon, actually, I'm going to, uh, we have already uh, six in Allah. Uh, is going to be published soon, is done in, uh, in German. And we have uh, a Quran and science is done in Spanish. And actually yesterday I was working in the cover. So soon we are going to be uh, publishing those books and will be, uh, you know, something really great. And I really appreciate all those people who they are helping in the translation process. So thank you all for being here. For sure, we thank those who support us by every every way they do, every mean they can. Wonderful people. I'm so proud to have you. And uh, um, I pray for all of you. And I pray even for the Muslims that their heart will open and they will see the truth that there is no way Muhammad can be a prophet. This is a, this is a comedy. This is nothing but a comedy. A man, a crazy man, he make you die for him. 
promising you a lot of women who there have no panties and you you decide to become a fool and you believe in that i don't want to die to get women have no panties that is not a reward trust me god when he created adam he created one eve not eves so if god in heaven he created eve why in heaven he will not give you one eve not 72 or 70 million where is the logic where is love is it all about sex yes islam is a pure sexual cult and all cults this they share the same thing sexuality money sex power and this is what muhammad he promised you you will take over you will take their money you will take their women and if you die for my sake i will give you a lot of women each one of them her ass is one mile i mean the ass size alone is scaring the hell of me what if she fought in my face and I am smoking a cigarette. I will be burned alive. In case you do not know, farting is inflammable. One mile ass. What a religion. Thank you, everybody. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we'll see you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.